Everywhere you go, always say the hey with you. Everywhere you go, always say the hey with you. Everywhere you go. What's going on, YouTube? Curtis here for the review of United versus Everton at Old Trafford. And uh, I am just absolutely thrilled at the minute. What a top game. But uh, anyways, guys, get into this review. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell the truth, lads. I think particularly we bossed this game. Honestly, for, you know, 80 minutes of this game, we utterly dominated. Uh, yes, we didn't have enough goals to kill off the game earlier. But other than that, guys, Everton didn't look too dangerous until the last 10 minutes of the game when they uh, fair play to him. We invited pressure onto him. Play. But anyways, lads. Getting to the game, Angel Di Maria, mate, he is just, just, don't, don't worry about Angel Di Maria, we'll just call him Angel PFA Di Maria, um, mate, he is just, oh, mate, he, I knew he was good, I knew, we all knew he was good, but he is just on another level at the minute, he is just, yeah. One matter came on for uh, Wayne Rooney. You know, Rooney suspended for this game. One matter. Uh, he played it good. He played, he played his role. He wasn't as good as I thought he was going to be, or more as I wanted him to be. I really wanted him to cement this spot to say, hey, Rooney, good luck getting back into the team. But he didn't really do that. He didn't look too bad, but he didn't look fantastic either. Anyway, he's got the ball, played it off to uh, Di Maria, but what a beautiful through ball. If he had an under hit that or over hit that, Di Maria wouldn't have finished like that. It was just a perfectly weighted pass for Di Maria on his right foot, if you don't mind. Angel Di Maria, just kid cannot stop scoring. Ah, oh, unbelievable. I was just so wrapped for him. And like I said, lads, that first half, we absolutely dominated. Lukaku, mate, he was in uh, McNair's back, uh, back pocket the whole first half until the stupid penalty which Luke Shaw gave away. Um... Yes, was it a penalty? Wasn't a penalty? I don't know, guys. I, honestly, I don't think it was a penalty. But when you're diving in like that, and the awkwardness it was, the referee's got no option to give it. So, I don't blame the referee for giving it. But, you know, I, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't get a... Uh, because it was a good time to um, tackle as well. So, uh, but Luke Shaw, he's young. You know, he'll come to realise that... You, there's no need to be diving in like that in the 47th minute when it's Toby, uh, Tony Hibbert going nowhere into the penalty box. You know, if, if that had been like, you know, Roman Lukaku who was getting on the back foot, you know, maybe go in like that. But, you know, Tony Hibbert, good chance he would have hit the corner flag from there, whatever he was going to try and do. But he didn't. Vain Mains comes to take the uh, penalty, lads. Hasn't missed a penalty in 14 games. Hasn't missed a penalty in Premier League history himself 14 straight and i'm thinking god one all here we go De Gea, and De Gea sneakily guys just pointed that way and just let that way and next thing you know lane bane's in it and De Gea switched dived over save it what a save crowd was buzzing we go into half time one nil up massive point in the game right there even luke shaw uh tweeted the hair after the game saying thank you so much for saving my ass basically but yeah come out in the second half guys and we, we continue to boss it i thought we looked fantastic again and against the runner play guys like leighton baines um yes he's getting old and whatnot but he can deliver a beautifully timed cross uh this ball he put in for naismith was just leighton baines's ball now, it would split any defense in half, and it literally, guys, split us, mate, like a knife through butter, and he found Naismith, was never going to miss that, was he? Beautiful cross, 1-1 one, one against the runner play, but at this stage, when this happened, I was still confident. I'd be like, yeah, no worries, bring it. We always look good going forward, and not long after that, guys, uh, De Maria does what he uh, normally does, drops the shoulder, takes on players, you know, he puts defenders... Uh, always on the back foot, and that's what we never had uh, before Di Maria. We had Nani and Ashley Young, but you know they were never an end product. They were never you, you will never put in, they were never putting defenders on their back foot. If you know what I mean, uh, Di Maria, mate. There's three, four, five defenders going on him. They're always worried about Angel Di Maria, and you can see it. And as soon as he got the ball, he yeah, technically he was having a shot, but Radamel Falcao was there. Gets his debut goal for Manchester United. 
he was struggling, I wouldn't say struggling, he was just trying way, way too hard to get this first goal. He was just snatching at every ch uh, chance when there was just no need whatsoever. But uh, now that he's got his first goal, you've seen the celebration, he just grabbed the shirt, he was just pumped for it. And uh, mate, I'm so, so happy that he got his debut goal. Let the floodgates open, right on our foul cow. Needed that first goal, broken the duck now, and let the goals come. If I could pick out a huge mistake, uh, I think Van Gaal got his tactics wrong when he took off Valencia and bring off Fellaini. Bring off Fellaini, uh, obviously the message was loud and clear for, uh, you know, to shore up that midfield, you know, to just get in front of the defence. But he just sat back way, way too deep. You know, that, that caused Daly Blind to drop deeper and everyone just came back and we just invited pressure on. Antonio Valencia... Yes, he's not. He, yes, he's pretty strong. He's got defensive skills. But when he's got the ball, you know, he doesn't just pass it sideways. He gets at you. You know, he puts Everton on the back foot, and we could have done with that. But I don't think he's match fit as well. So if that's the case, well then, fair play. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, like I said. Van Hal bring on James Wilson, which was good to see. I knew he wasn't going to play up top with um, the, um, Van Persie up there, but James Wilson, he looks a great prospect. Um, he just seems so calm in the ball every time he touches it. But anyways, lads, um, we also took off Valencia, like I said before. Fellaini came on, dropped deeper, and we just invited pressure. No need to invite pressure, but... Hey, you know, our confidence is low at the minute. Tyler Blackett came on as well. Unfortunately, got an injury to Luke Shaw, which is such a shame because he played, uh, played fantastic as well. Man, all our, all our defense played fantastic. Raphael, contender for man of the match again. He's been amazing this season. McNair, he looks like he's been playing in the Premier League for years. Tyler Blackett, so calm on the ball. And Luke Short, fantastic as well. But anyways, lads, the last 10 minutes, it was all about Everton. Mate, could we hold off the pressure? And my word, David De Gea, son. Best game you've had at Manchester United by far. By far. You were simply amazing. Oh my god, that save right at the end where it came into the box and it was that way But he went with his right hand just to knock it out hit the edge of his hand. Oh um, David De Gea world-class save literally literally single-handedly Saved us from getting uh, all three points from that game. He was immense uh, That second last save as well mate. He was just oh, I've got no words to describe how good De Gea was Best game in a United shirt so far. Unbelievable. We held on right until the end, lads. Grabbed all three points. We're back in that top four now, lads. And we're not even playing at our best. We still got 10 plus injuries in our team. Who knows what's going to happen when we get these 10 players back, when we find a bit of form. And lads, from here, the only way is up. Mate, we've got Radamel Falcao now to get his confidence. Once he gets a partnership with Van Persie, they're going to be unstoppable. When Rooney finds some form with one Mata, Di Maria's going to link up play with him. We've got Yanazai to get our best. We still got January to buy defenders. We still got January to buy midfielders. This team, the only way is up for us, and we're already in the top four. It's unbelievable. Not sure if you can tell at the minute, lads, but I'm just a little bit excited at the minute. I love watching us play. United right now, the way we play, man, it just excites me. I can't wait. We've got internationals now. After the international breaks, guys, we got massive games ahead. West Brom away, not going to be easy. They're in a pretty good form themselves. Um, then we've got Chelsea at home and City away. So they're going to be massive. Three games after the international break, which is uh, going to see where we're at. I can't wait for those games. I'm really, really chuffed. If we get some good results out of that, oh, we'll be, should I say. But anyways, let's get your comments down below. I want to know your thoughts about this game. Man of the match to me, you got to give it to De Gea. You cannot give it to anyone else. Single-handedly gave us all three points in that game. But uh, if it wasn't De Gea, I would have probably given it to Rafael or Angel Di Maria. But no question about it. David De Gea. Man of the match all day long. But anyways, lads, like I said, get your comments down below. Who was your man of the match? Anyways, lads, if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you subscribe at Curtis7. Follow me on Twitter and on Facebook and all those wonderful things. I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace. Everywhere you go, 
always say to hang out with you.